Hello, this is Angie with the CountrySheetCottage.net and I'm making some recycled denim mason jars today that are great for a picnic and then I'm going to use some of the other denim I have to make these great napkin rings. So today I'm using a glue gun from AdTech. This is from AdTech Adhesives and they're sponsoring this Hangout on Air in conjunction with CraftingHangouts.com. So head there and see lots of glue gun videos and craft videos in general. Um, we use the Hangout on Airs for our, all of our videos, so you can see tons of live crafting. So right now I'm going to get started, and I'm actually going to switch cameras so you can see my work surface and see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so here we go. So first I'm going to make the recycled denim mason jar. This is really super simple. So I have an old pair of capris here, and they're actually stretched in them, um, so they're really stretchy. That's important for the first project we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to cut the pocket out. So this, I'm keeping the front and the back and I'm trimming as close as possible to these seams as I can. Now recycled denim projects are really fun and I'm just going to use the pockets and the waistband actually for the two projects I'm doing today. but absolutely do not throw away the rest of the denim um, you know Google recycle denim crafts look it up on Pinterest and use the rest of the denim for something else denim projects are actually really popular right now so um, I'm sure you can find something to do with the rest of this denim and I'm gonna set it to the side and so now I have the pocket and it's really stretchy and I have these blue mason jars from ball um, and this is a pint sized jar which is very important and this pocket is actually going to stretch right over the top of this mason jar. So awesome, right? So the only thing is there's a lot of bulk here at the bottom, so we need to cut some of this off. So I'm going to take the pocket and just cut off the very bottom. And I left a portion of the seam on either side. And then we're just going to stretch it back on the mason jar. So now comes the glue gun part. Um, I would use a very hot glue gun for this. Just be careful not to burn yourself. So once you have it on there and just how you like it, where so the seams are kind of flapping, so we're going to glue those down first. So let's go all the way down the seam. Just hold that down. I love hot glue because it just makes every project so super simple and fast. All right, now, the only thing that's left is we need to get this jar where it will sit flat on the table. Um, so right now you have all this. So we're just gonna um, use our glue gun to get all of this down at the bottom here. And then it'll have a semi-flat surface to sit on. Um, I think these will be fun. Um, like an outdoor picnic or outdoor cookout. Put your um, forks and knives and things in these. So they're really quick to make and will look great on your table. And will coordinate with just about any other decor or plates or whatever you're using. Alright, so that's it. That is the project. Um, just allow that glue to sit a few minutes. If you have a lot of these glue strings, my favorite trick is to use. And see, now it sits flat, just like the other one. Perfect for knives and forks. Um, my favorite trick for glue strings is to use a hair dryer after you're done with your project. And um, just get those, melt those glue strings right away. Okay, so a napkin ring. So this one I actually used the button of the waistband. So I just cut the waistband off of the pair of capris I was using. And I cut both sides, and then I just used a bead of hot glue back here in the back to join the two. So I don't actually have a button for the second one, but you can use the rest of the waistband to make more napkin rings. Just um, cut it as straight as possible, kind of measure, cut as straight as possible, fold it over, and use a little hot glue overlap it slightly and then I also use a little hot glue around this cut edge just so we don't get much fraying and just let that dry 
on a napkin on the inside and this is ready for your picnic or barbecue so I thought these two projects were really fun to use a, an au pair of jeans on so just be sure the stretch denim for this mason jar um, any denim at all for this napkin ring with the button would be awesome or without the button like the one I made in this video so again craftyhangouts.com if you want to see more live crafting videos you can head to my blog the country cottage.net to see booty shots of these and tons of other crafts and be sure to pick up an ad set glue gun at a store near you to complete your crafting with thank you for joining me today bye